All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.7, .7, uh, problem number 8. All right, so we have a table of a velocity, and at, uh, let's say, given at the uh, 0 0.5 second interval. All right, so the delta x is going to be, in this case, 0 0.5, and then all the, basically, the function value is given. Then, in order to find the distance, we basically do an integral from 0 to 5 of the, all the velocity function. All right, so uh, let's do that. So open up GeoGebra. All right, so delta x is 0 0.5, so 0 0.5, and then divide by a part of the a formula is uh, delta x over 3. And then we're going to have, all right, so first number is, uh, actually, I have to bring this guy, oops, sorry. I have to bring this guy down a bit so that we can see all the numbers. All right, then here, uh, we're going to have, all right, first number is uh, 0, velocity is 0. And you have a 4 times, next number is 4.61. Uh, next is 2 times uh, 7.36. And next one is 4 times uh, 8.84, uh, 2 times, uh, next number is 9.71, uh, plus 4 times uh, 10.22, plus 2 times uh, 10.59, uh, plus 4 times uh, 10.69, uh, plus 2 times uh, 10.74 and then plus 4 times uh, 10.85 uh, last number is 10.85 again All right then uh, that's that I hit enter All right and we want the three decimal places so we have to go uh, change uh, go to uh, setting and then, uh, actually, I have maybe, uh, I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger, right? So it's a three decimal places. So we have that. So we got the 44.748, right? So let's uh, put that in. Um, 44.728, was it? Um, I, I don't remember. 4.4748, sorry. 748, yeah. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like uh, we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear. I guess I, I, I have to probably bring it out so that you can see. Yep, yeah, you can see all of it. All right, that's it.